Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those whom are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. You will find the link to my Patreon listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why we spiritually led here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? We have the seven of pentacles to the four of wands energy here. Okay. With this seven of pentacles to the four of wands, we do have Sagittarius as well as Taurus energy present at this time. All right. I'm seeing um, you working on something in your life. All right. Investing in yourself okay and as you are in this energy of just building a solid foundation for yourself in life and you know uh, making sure that the foundation that you build is strong enough to um hold while you build on it right so you are laying a foundation for yourself you're planting the right seeds by making all the right decisions and choices for your reality for yourself within your reality okay I see that i see that you are you are doing well in 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 you know that form of self mastery of um learning life in a way of understanding the game of life and then being able to maneuver through the game of life right it's like you're doing well by investing in yourself the way you are doing you're doing well by taking the time to build upon your future you're, you are making the decisions and choices that will align you to a better tomorrow, which is a beautiful energy to be in. Okay, very beautiful energy to be in. And I see that you're building upon a solid foundation. This is not a foundation that's going to be broken or um, shaken, you know, in any sort of way because it's it's rigid, right? The time you are you are taking to just take care and nurture your life, your reality in the way that you're doing it. It's going to pay off in the end because once that foundation is laid, it's going to put you in a better position in your life because you will never have to redo the foundation or build another foundation because this one is now like it has fallen or something. Now it's like keep building upon a solid foundation in life for whatever aspect of your life this resonates with right whatever aspect of your life this resonates with take it as it applies to that keep building on that in your life and you will see the fruits of your labor it's it's really good energy 
okay it's really good energy as i was you know tapping into the energy the way i was tapping into the energy i did it did feel to to me that you are being watched as you're building this foundation of your life or you're laying a foundation in your life all right in a certain aspect of your life whether it's career based a career based uh foundation a family based foundation a personal life based foundation a social life based foundation a love life based foundation it could be based on any narrative any of those narratives and any of the narratives that you res resonate with okay could be one or multiple foundations that you're building at this time but you are doing well okay and as you are in that energy you are being continuously watched by a specific person here okay this person is behind the scenes in a very heartbroken energy because they too can see how solid of, of a foundation you are building or you are on, they can see that you're on the verge of something great in your life okay this is somebody that is not happy for you at all this is somebody that isn't happy that you are moving forward the way you are moving forward in life we have the chariot okay this person is not happy that things are going the way they are going for you this is somebody that is not happy that you are making um way for yourself you know you are building upon a better tomorrow this person is realizing that like even with them being in this heartbroken energy not wanting you to build on this foundation it won't stop you the fact that they have a problem with the foundation you're building or they have a problem with you or anything like that they know for sure that it's still not going to stop you from taking control of your life the way you're taking control of your life because in the end you are the verdict you are the um conclusion of your own reality anyone can say do act however when it comes to your life but you have the final say right and this person knows that very well when it comes to you so as much as they're not happy about it they know there's nothing they can do about it But it's not um, stopping them from being in this heartbroken energy. Like this person is not okay at this time. Like the more days pass, the more months pass, weeks pass, and they keep seeing you investing in yourself the way you are investing in yourself or just taking control of your life by nurturing your seeds and, 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 and equipping yourself for a better tomorrow and things of that nature. Like this person is not taking that well. They are so broken hearted about it because they know that like it's only going to get better with time or you're only going to get better with time and they don't know how to handle that or deal with it within themselves. That truth. Okay. It's like you, you are um, low key here leaving this person like clueless or speechless about just everything surrounding your life. Like they, they, they don't know what to say, what to do. They just don't know. And also, I do sense the energy of this person being upset with themselves. And the reason this person is upset with themselves, it has to do with um, who you are in your reality and where you are headed in comparison to who they are in their reality and where they're headed like. They're upset about the difference in that energy of being. Like, the energy you're in and the energy they're in. That difference. Like, this person, they're so upset with themselves, right? You know when you can clearly see the difference between you and another person? You don't need to get into their energy to know or clarify or confirm anything is clear already by just seeing this person and and just looking at their character the way they move is just 
you know what i'm saying so this is how this person is is receiving you like there is a way in which you are maneuvering through life at this time that is putting this person to shame because they know they can make the same moves or they can make the same decisions and choices for themselves in life or they don't they they aren't in the energy to call in and manifest what you are calling in and what you are manifesting all right so this person is definitely an energy that keeps looking at your life and then looking at their life and they messing themselves up by doing that because they're not seeing what they want to see and the more they do it the more messed up they become within themselves it's just not it's, it's unhealthy for this person to keep doing this you know it's different when you look into a person's life and you just see it for what it is without attaching yourself to it in any way right but in this instance this person whatever of your life they're keeping so much tabs on like they keeping their eye on on your life in a specific way whatever it is that they have so much in um they've put so much energy in in terms of your life it'd be different if they are approaching the situation in a healthy way for themselves not even just you but this person is doing it in an unhealth in an unhealthy way because they are taking away from themselves in a lot of ways by continuously comparing themselves to you or your life to theirs okay like this person think can't help but think of how bright your future seems to be and then reflect on the life that they live and they can't help but feel like they don't carry that same energy of having a bright future for some reason this person they feel like their future isn't bright We have Cancer energy, we have Taurus, double Taurus energy, we have Capricorn energy, we have Virgo energy here. So this energy of a person is heartbroken because obviously they're looking at things futuristically, you know what I'm saying? It's not about what they even see right now, it's about like, damn, like, if this person keeps investing in themselves, in their life in this way, if this person keeps making these types of decisions and choices if this person keeps aligning themselves with this high vibrational energy and tapping into life the way they tapping into life approaching situations the way they're approaching situations like this person is is just thinking about the futuristic perspective of your current life like and it's just blowing them away blowing their mind away like damn like imagine how this person's life is going to look in the next so so years five years two years even if they keep doing what they're doing Okay, whatever this is for you, beloved, we have um, the Three of Pentacles here. We do have double Capricorn energy. We have also triple um, Taurus energy with the Empress. And then we have Libra energy. We have the Hanged Man. We have Pisces energy here. So yes, the, so yes beloved, you are dealing with an energy of a person that is going through a lot within themselves very heartbroken about their current state of being their life and where they see it going it's like like i'm seeing like somebody literally behind the scenes in constant comparison of your life and theirs and like in 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 all forms in all ways it's not even just about oh they're doing this for themselves and they're doing that for themselves this person is like if they could also do that for themselves if they could also do it's like this person is just in their own world with this okay the way in which they are looking at this situation it's it's like a world of their own that they've created for themselves inside within right this person can't help but look in, into your life or look at your life like and with this empress energy this person sees that you are building on something real think you're building on value you are building on um you know things that matter it's not like oh pff, this is in five months what will this be keep doing it keep investing in it keep this keep that 
what makes you think that this this thing that doesn't have value is going to take you anywhere or do anything for you that is going to be like breakthrough or elevation or a part of your evolution like you know things like that but this person sees that the way in which you are dealing with life at this time you are so solid in the way you are going about things because this person can see how solid of a, of a foundation of life you are building upon and they can see that it's something that's never going to go anywhere like it's not going to change it's just going to keep getting better it's not going to shake or break it's just going to keep being more rigid more stable right so obviously here i am getting you know envy and jealousy but it's in a it's a certain kind of envy a certain kind of jealousy where it's not that they wish they could be in your shoes but this person wishes that it's like rather they wish that you and them were on the same vibration because that would mean that they are also doing things of value in their life or they're also planting seeds that are going to harvest great crop in the future their future like they also want to be in your vibration because it means that they would have a better tomorrow like this person is worried about what's to come they see what's going on right now it's already bugging them tripping them out tweaking them out as is it's already enough but when they look at the future of this situation of your life your identity it just something just blows this person away here blows their mind away so this person they know that you are also in the energy of connecting with only those that are of the same vibration as you or only those that you resonate with which even amplifies the solid foundation of yours because you're not surrounded by snakes and even if there is a snake you will be well aware because of who you are and what you know This person is so focused on your life that they can see the flaws in their life. That's just crazy, right? Like they can see what they need to work on, what they need to do, how they need to do it. But what keeps them in the fine line of like, okay, I'm going to also take charge of my life. I'm going to invest in myself, invest in my reality, do this, make the decisions and choices, planting seeds you know nurturing this and that like it's not doing that to them rather like the more they do this where they they stalk your life or they are in the energy of trying to constantly compare you to them or your life to theirs it puts them in the energy of feeling like worthless here like what's even the point of me having to do that in my life if it's not a promised or a guaranteed thing that i'll be successful this person wants like what you have where you know when you build a foundation it's not like you are building blind you already know what's up you already know like yo i know that if i keep doing this i'm gonna get to where i want to be i know that if i keep approaching things in this way i'm gonna open up this door for myself i know that if this and this aligns for me in the way that i wanted to it's going to or the way that I'm working towards it, aligning for me, is going to take me to a different level of elevation. Like it's that sort of foundation that you are building, beloved. Where it's it seems it seems to be so. There's a, a a promise here of a bright future. There's a promise of some form of success already tied to your name. Everybody can see it, including this person. And you are showing up in the Empress energy. It's like you are already there. You just keep needing to open up those doors or creating those breakthroughs for yourself or aligning yourself with energies that are going to take you there you know things like that this person sees this and they know this it's almost masterful how you were doing this it's so admired
So with that being said, this person feels like, what's the point if I'm not promised the same bright future or I'm not promised a bright future in general? What's the point if I don't see the same outcome for myself? Like, why should I keep doing this? Or why should I do this in my life? Like, I'm not, I don't know if it's going to happen the way I want it to for, my, for me. But how would you know if you don't try? Like, this person, the problem with this person is that they keep looking at your life. Like, if they would take the focus away from that and look at their life and actually shut the rest of the world out not just your world just the world in general and look at what they got going on look ahead all right and not worry about what they're facing currently because you didn't get here overnight you had to you did what you had to do to be here and those sacrifices those decisions and choices those people you had to let go of, those things within yourself you had to address and heal. And those, there's just a lot that happened for you to be where you're at. I'm seeing that. So this person, if they just start just for themselves, for their life, not to say, oh, yeah, look, I'm also doing it. Or look at me. Look at what I'm doing. It's like, that's the thing with this person. They're more focused on the instant gratification of life. They want something where it's like it's yeah like it's gonna happen they don't want to take the risk they don't want to have that faith and trust within their own goals ambitions dreams wishes desires and just take the risk they don't want to do that they keep looking at how bright your future is and it seems so clear to them that like you will literally be at a certain point when the time comes, like all these things that they keep seeing in your future, in your reality, but they're not seeing it in their reality. It's because they haven't harvested, they haven't harnessed the, the right energy for their own reality to manifest or for them to be able to call in certain things. They haven't done the work. They haven't put in the work. It needs the work, hard work and dedication and commitment to what you do and what you want, no matter the pace, no matter what or the resources you might have, you can't get to where you want to be if you are sitting and complaining about where you're at. This person, they don't want to get it. It's all about you and how you got it. Like, ugh. And time be moving. That's the thing, guys. You know, time be passing you by. So do opportunities, blessings, doors opening, the right people, the right time. It just be flying and you miss it because you are not tapped in this person they're not tapped in so the energy of this person at this time like i feel like this person is going to keep looking at your life and keep complaining about their life they're going to keep looking at your life and keep feeling like this heartbroken energy and like feeling like worthless and all these things that they keep putting themselves through but it's not going to change anything for you, beloved. If I were this person, I would look at your life as an inspiration, as motivation for me to go harder in mine. And that's on period. Because what else can you do? You know what I mean? I'm being called to end this message here. This was your message from God. Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time and I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. So those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.